Want to help your child learn math? Provide him or her with a dedicated study room. That's one of the findings from a new survey revealing the study habits of America's top math students. And here to tell us more about the survey conducted by the Philly-based Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics is Mark Zandi, Moody's Analytics Chief Economist. Mark, thanks so much for being with us. You guys you. Uh, sponsored this survey, correct? We did. Tell us a little bit about how it was conducted and who were the students interviewed. Well, uh, Moody's Foundation sponsors something called the Moody's Mega Math Challenge. So what this is is uh, kids, uh, high school kids, juniors and seniors across the country, uh, participate in a math challenge. And it, it's basically solve a problem. And the problem can be the op opioid epi epidemic, a real estate a bubble in San Francisco, uh, 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 global warming, what impact it's having on national parks. It's really interesting problems. They participate. So you felt like the problem that you wanted to focus on is why aren't American students better at math? No, no. <laughs> so those are the kids that participate. So these oh, are the kids okay. that participated in the survey. Gotcha. So okay. these kids that, that uh, did the challenge, and we've been doing this for a long time, okay. 10, 12, 13 years. Uh, they're the kids that we surveyed to try to understand a little bit better about what motivates them, why are they so engaged, and what about their uh, work and other habits uh, make them, you know... What are they doing right? What so are they doing right? So we can replicate it. Exactly, and we need it because, you know, the U.S. is well, well behind the rest of the world in terms of educating our kids with regard to math and education, uh, technology, science, all those things that make, make an economy tick. Absolutely. So let's get to some of the findings. One of the things I thought was most interesting or that sort of popped out to me was the fact that most, most of these students say they have a dedicated study room. Yeah, it's, uh, they, they study a lot, mm -hmm. uh, the, the average of at least two hours a day, wow. and that's the average, so yeah. you know, a bunch of kids are studying a lot more than that, and they're not studying at the kitchen table, uh, you know, they're not studying in a room full of people, they are really studying, so they're going to a quiet place and uh, focusing. And focusing, yeah. key. Now, what about extracurriculars? Are these kids overachievers? They also do quite a few hours a week of extracurricular activity. Yeah, as you can imagine, right? Yeah. Uh, they are. Uh, you know, they're not playing football, they're not playing baseball, but they're in the community, mm -hmm. uh, you know, helping out the community. They're in student government, they're in clubs. So they're very engaged in what's going on. I think 78 uh, percent, right, are in doing significant extracurricular. That's activities. right. Yeah. That's a large and, percentage. Yeah. So they're very engaged kids in every every sense of the word. And you say they do average two hours a day. How many hours a week of homework did they? On average, 11, on average? 11 12 hours. Okay. Yeah. So these are serious. These serious are serious kids. Students. Yeah. What do they say though about math? Are these kids who say, you know, it came easy to me, it was a natural fit, or I worked really hard at it? Yeah, good question. So uh, at least half the kids say this is something that just comes to me naturally. I, I really enjoy this, and uh, therefore I do it. You mm -hmm. know, this is why I'm participating in the Moody's Mega Math Challenge. This is why I do brain teasers. This is why I do what I do. Uh, but another 25, 30 percent said they're uh, they're interested because of their teacher. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, and it, you know that that was my case. You know, I really got interested in mathematics because of a very good math teacher, and so that's very important. And I think that's important from a policy perspective because if we want our kids to learn math, and which is key to everything, yeah, then we're going to have to spend more of our energy on trying to figure out how to get good teachers teaching our kids. Absolutely, we've yeah. got to invest in those teachers. So, yeah. for you, what were the main takeaways of the survey? Well, uh, you know, for me, what was really important is giving these kids an outlet. Uh, and that's the purpose of the survey, purpose of the challenge. You know, when you go to a, uh, a, a, an award ceremony for a high school for graduation, you know, you spend 90% of the time uh, saying good things about the star football player, right, right. which is great. Right, you know, it's okay. Right. And then the, the kid who got the physics award or the math award or the biology award, you know, got the award and, you know, no one's really paying attention. It just feels backwards to me. Right. So, that shouldn't be the afterthought. Well, who's going to change the world? Right. Is it going to be the football player? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. But it's really guy, the guys who are going to, you know, uh, build the next I, uh, Apple iPhone. I right? agree with you 100%. Yeah. So we and, you know, shining the we need, spotlight over We just over need there. to have a balance, a more of a balance here, I think. And other nations do, yeah. right? So if you look at surveys of math achievement across the world, I mentioned we're well, well behind. You know, who's, who's in the lead? If you take it to top 10 countries in the world in terms of achievement of math achievement of 15-year-olds, it's, it's all Asian economy. So if we're going to compete, if we're going to be successful in the future, we've got to you know, kind of reorient and, and think about, you know, it's, it's more about resources. It's, it's also about, you know, just to 
you know, congratulating our kids because you did a good job. You, you are a math star. Absolutely. Mark Zandi, thank you so much. Really important information. Thanks thank so you. much.